What's going on everybody, it's Jeff here. In this video, we are gonna be talking about switchback energy, ticker symbol SBE. Over the last few days, week especially, I've just continuously seen this stock uh, dropping and I know that we are less than a month away from the charge point acquisition. And I've seen recently with other SPACs and I'm concerned about this SPAC is that once a merger kind of happens, you know, it's like a, you know, buy on the rumor, sell on the news type. And so I'm getting a little nervous. I don't know exactly how to play this. I, I do have, I did dollar cost average and, 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 and add to my position. And I'm just kind of wondering like how to play this. So I, uh, I came across this article that just came out yesterday. I'm going to go over, go over it with you guys just to kind of give you a little bit of input on how to play this for the short term and the long term uh, what to expect and just to align this with your goals guys all right so stick around you're definitely not gonna want to miss this let's get into it so first off this article just came out yesterday the stock is down like four percent today again and i'm kind of just like i don't know I, I just haven't been you know feeling that great about switchback energy so i want to go over this a little bit kind of just pick out the highlights of it um it talks it up pretty good you know a couple things that stuck out to me um you know, first of all, in the beginning, it just kind of goes over exactly what the, the company is. But one thing that's great is that ChargePoint projects compound annual growth to over 60% over the next seven years, exceeding $2 billion in revenue which by 2027. I, if you guys, you know, have watched any of the other of my videos, you know that I'm a financials guy, you know that I'm a numbers guy, and I, you know, after investing for years, you, a business has to be profitable, has to grow in order for a stock to continue. Okay, rumors, news, and hype cannot just continue a stock to go up. So that's great news. I love that. Okay, um, I read this as well. The future looks bright for the EV and charging markets worldwide. We know that stateside, the new administration is likely to bring a rising renewable energy tide. Therefore, I am bull bullish on SBE stock in the long run. However, the share price has already had a significant run in the past few months. Thus, my suggestion is to wait for a potential drop to buy a decline towards 40 or even below would improve the margin of safety for buy and hold investors however this was written yesterday and the stock was only at i want to say not even 42 dollars so i don't know I, I would have liked to see more of a decline towards 35 um or below but okay we'll go with that so i decided to do a little bit more poking around i've you know I always like to know exactly what a company's doing, okay? And uh, I highly suggest you research, you know, this, you know, any stock you're, you're gonna, you know, invest in, any company you're gonna invest in, definitely do some research. I love their software as a service. Um, it's a subscription-based model. It is huge and it's branching out over all industries. I love that. I also read down here because there are a lot of places, companies where I live in Connecticut, ESPN, um, Stanley Black & Decker, GE, Bank of America has a huge building here. They're putting in EV charging sta stations for their, their workers, all right? And this is a great one right here. We were interested in installing EV charging at our properties, but weren't interested in getting into the EV charging business. So having ChargePoint manage our charging services is a benefit for us, okay? That's awesome. That's our, that's what companies are going to want to do. They're not going to have to manage and update their own um update this update the you know platforms of charging stations and you know maintain them. So having that software as a service is huge. It's great. A uh, couple things also the Motley Fool uh, Fool heads which <laughs> had said that three companies that are going to benefit next at next era energy partners switch back and clean energy fuels what i like about it is that it's very uh you know to the point is that it doesn't matter who's going to win is tesla going to maintain to be the winner in the united states i think it is but is lucid going to take some of that what's happening with gm we heard gm is partnering with microsoft which is huge what's happening with that however in the end all of these you know evs no matter what brand they are what model they are they need to be charged okay so period great awesome charging stations are win i love that then i came over to this article okay and i'm going to go through this guys and pay attention okay um I'm not going to go through everything. I'm going to highlight it, okay? Those who haven't bought into the SBE charge point story just yet, but believe in the whole EV trend, might be wondering if its stock has any gas left in the tank. Then I see right here, sell SBE stock. Let me get into it. As I said in, in the intro, SBE is up 320%. 25% as I write this, an annualized return of almost 220% over almost 18 months of a, as a public company. If you bought shares at the IPO, I don't think any anyone would hold it against you if you cashed out in your chips right now. Given the short-term capital gains is not in the picture anymore. Short-term capital gains expire after 12 months, guys, okay? If you don't know about short-term capital gains and taxes, look it up. You're definitely going to want to know it, okay? Um, so yes, regardless of valuation, taking products at this point in the proceedings would be a considered rational act. Heavy investors might be taking profits now, okay? That's definitely a sign for me. It's over that 12 month period. I didn't even think about it at the beginning, which is huge, okay? Also, 
This says the industry is a long way from that goal given the EVs represented less than 3% of the new car sales last year. That's what it said is that an estimated revenue of 1 billion once it reaches 3% on the cars on the road. However, it's not even at that. Here we go. Even assuming the estimate is correct, SBE stock is trading at more than 13 times revenue level. That's likely five to seven years in the future. Given gross margin targets in the range of 40% to 45%, it's valued at something like 30 times gross profit on the same basis. When I read this, I was like, oh man, man, that you're right. Like, you know, is there is there a huge potential in the future? I mean, absolutely, I'm, I'm in. But what's going to happen over the next year, maybe two years? Is this going to maintain? Is, is, is the hype over? Is the merger over? Is, you know, the Biden administration offering tax credits and, you know, um, definite affirmation and, you know, uh, actionable efforts towards the renewable energy sector? But it, is that already valued into the price of this? It, it kind of just got me worried. So um, then it goes down to here too, as well. It's time to buy on the other side. Charge point that patient investors, despite the obvious volatility which isn't going away anytime soon, will be re rewarded down the road. road. Um, read this article, guys. It's under Investor Place. It really gives a, a great um, perspective on it, okay? While I think SPE stock could revisit the 30s post-merger, I even think it could hit almost 30, 32 post-merger. Um, he also says, long-term, I think SBE charge point will be a winner. Okay, but we all know there are no guarantees in life, so govern yourself accordingly and definitely don't bet money you can't afford to lose. I love that little statement at the end. Let's get into the charts, guys. This is also what worries me. I'm a chart guy. I'm a, you know, they call them patterns for a reason. They look up the definition of patterns. They tend to repeat themselves. If you see here, when we saw the hype in November, reach the high, pull back. That's normal. It was a huge increase. Reach another high, pull back. Normal. Reach the new high pullback okay now this low was still higher than the previous low but it's getting there however by that next high that ran out of gas okay um and it's going back down pretty low if this breaks that 36 30 36 39 point and reaches a new low you know that gives me that's a, a warning sign to me um that potentially we're not even at consolidation yet and that the consolidation for this uh, price would be around $40. I, I could potentially see an, a small increase of a pop during that merger, get it up a little bit, and then profits be taken from investors here. Uh, if you look, guys, the volume has been continuously trending down. Um, just want to bring this you know, to your attention. This uh, definitely has a little bit of worry me. I'm a pretty good size holder in this company. Uh, I believe in it long term. However, I don't want to hold a stock that stays pretty stagnant at that $35 to $45 range for a year uh, because we are in an insane bull market right now, insane bull market. Um, and seeing a 40, 50% annual return uh, right now is not uncommon. It wasn't uncommon last year. I saw you know, almost you know, over 100% in my portfolio alone. So um, leave your comments down below, guys. I hope this was a good analysis. Uh, it just wanted just to bring a little light on, on you know, on, on you know what to expect pre-merger, post-merger, potentially what's happened over the next year. So, appreciate you guys watching. If you all watched all the way through to the end, leave a like, you know, and definitely subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.